Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can migrate a dynamic configuration file to a static configuration file for use with Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. So we're going to head down to the migrating to a static configuration file section of the readme. It says if you have been using Komorebi with a dynamic configuration script and wish to migrate to using a static configuration file, once you have Komorebi running in the desired configuration state, you can run Komorebi C generate static config. There are some caveats here, which you should take the time to read. So this here is the dynamic configuration script, the PowerShell script that we're using. It's pretty much the, the default from version 0.1.16, or the example, rather, I should say. And so this is currently running. It's all there. But this is the output that we are looking for. So we can take this output and we can save it in this file. Create a new file. We'll put that in there. Pretty cool. All right, so here is our current configuration, and we are going to replicate that when we restart. But before we do restart, um, we're going to do one thing that you may not have done if you are indeed still using a dynamic configuration file. We're going to run this command, comorebc fetch app specific configuration. This is going to fetch the latest applications.yaml and right at the bottom it's going to give you this output telling you what to put in your static configuration file. Now, if you are going to put this at the top of the configuration file, like I'm doing just now, make sure that you add a comma at the end. However, you don't need a comma if you add it right at the bottom because the last element of a JSON object should not have a comma. It's up to you, but because it starts with A, I like to have it at the top. All right, so I'm going to stop Komorebi now. Um, maybe I already stopped it. Oh, yeah, I did already stop it. OK, so we're going to clear this out. And we're going to do Komorebi C start dash dash config. We're going to point it to the Komorebi.json file that we just created, the one right here. And we're going to add another flag for starting WHKD. And we are now up and running. So I can move things around. I can do all of the good stuff. Uh, so you can see that the workspaces should be named with Roman numerals. The workspace padding should be 20 on layout on workspace one. Uh, and we should have loaded all of these rules. So I'm going to do comma rebc state. We can see that all of the rules from the applications.yaml file have indeed been loaded. If we go up a little, little bit more, we can see the names do indeed have the Roman numerals. Here's two, here is three. They all have the default BSP layout. And while these have the default padding of 10, workspace one has the adjusted padding for the workspace and containers at 20, just as we declared in here. So I think this is pretty cool. It's a lot faster than using the previous dynamic configuration scripts. 
I highly recommend that you check it out. If you do run into any issues, you can open a thread in discussions. If you think you've seen a bug or a regression, you can open an issue. And of course, you can always come and chat with us in the Discord server. You can click on this chat bubble. You can go down to the about. There is a link there. And as always, there is a link in the description of the YouTube video. So that is about it. Before I let you go, I am going to draw your attention to the sponsor page for this project. If you like this project, if you love this project, consider becoming a sponsor. Even if it's a dollar a month, it means a great deal to me. And if you do become a sponsor, you will join these cool people, Dylan, Tobias, Alex, Julian and Hisayuki in having my undying appreciation for your support. I know that not everybody is able to sponsor, but the next best thing that you can do if you're not able to sponsor is to hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. I have a lot of very cool Komorebi related content here. If you go over to the playlists, there are also live programming playlists where you can see me making this window manager that you're using um, as I do it. Mistakes and everything. It's a very good learning experience. That is it for this video. I hope that this helps you. If you have some feedback, um, let me know in the comments, let me know in the Discord, let me know in the issues. I always enjoy hearing from users of this software. Stay tuned for more Komorebi related videos, especially relating to new things in the recent releases. I hope that whatever you do today, you have a great day, and I hope to see you back here next time.